Good Tuesday morning, everyone. It is 8 o'clock. We thank you so much for joining us here for Take Two. We begin with a story that we've been following all morning. The first flights from Kona's airport will be arriving here in Honolulu soon. That's after a closure of the airport last night that has since been repaired. Chris Latronic joins us live from the airport in Honolulu with the very latest. Chris, and you've been talking to passengers all morning long. What have you been hearing? I've been hearing a lot of stories from good. I did, I, kind of oblivious. Some family just got off the plane from Tokyo. Didn't know that we had that debacle over the Kona International Airport with the runway cracks. Uh, but they did uh, check in and were actually were getting on with their flights. And that's the good news as well. As of 6 a.m. today, uh, they did reopen the Kona International Airport runway. And flights outgoing as well as incoming uh, have been returned. But there has been some delays. As you can see here, uh, there's still uh, just uh, about 20 minutes to half an hour has been delayed. Uh, so just watch watch out as well but also we've been talking with uh, some disgruntled travelers who were stuck from even yesterday uh, one of them uh, was a lady that was diverted she was from uh, from Hawaii Island going to Kona gonna get picked up by her friends then taken over to UH Hilo but she got diverted over to right here International Airport uh, with Delta and she's still looking for her flight that's possibly for later tonight but she's trying to get extra ones uh, at, earlier if possible. And that's been the trend with everybody coming in and checking in. They've actually, uh, a lot of people have been getting checked in, wouldn't be able to check in on the kiosk, and they have been going over to customer service uh, to really uh, get things going. But yeah, the good news is people are starting to go through with their travel, with some being uh, stuck still with no answers as well. But we did earlier talk with the head of the Department of Transportation, Ed Sniffin, and here's what he said. Last night when we went out to repair that three by one foot area of crack, we cut out a portion of 10 by 20 to capture a larger area where cracking was, was observed. While we were uh, cutting out that portion, our crews were investigating other areas and we found another portion of concern that's about 10 by 120 feet. So we re repaired those two sections and tonight we will back again to repair that cracked area that we found at 10, 10 foot by 120 foot. Now, the good news about that repair is that that will not affect flights uh, during that time, and that's, that repair is going to happen overnight between midnight and around 3 a.m. We'll keep you updated on that, as well as still just the slight delays. Uh, we'll have live reports from Kona a little bit later, so stay tuned for our later newscasts, as well as keep uh, up to date online at khon2.com. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii right here at the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, sending things back to you. Chris, mahalo for that live.